this is serious. My legs are too short for the boots. These are too big. It's not something you'd want to wear every day, I guess. Disclaimer, this is not a video to encourage you girls to shop, but I love doing unboxing videos and I thought I should unbox all my latest shopping purchases here with you guys today. So I bought stuff from Zara, Matches Fashion and Net a uh, The boxes look big, but there isn't really a lot of stuff in there and it's not super crazy. Let's find out what they are and how they look. So I bought these two blouses that are cropped from Zara. Um, I bought them in both black and white because they're very basic staple colours. Um, the reason why I like this blouse is because it's cropped and secondly, the fabric doesn't crease that easily. So um, sometimes when we go out to work, we have to change in and out of outfits. And if I was to wear something that creases really easily, after the shoot when I put my own clothes back on, it always gets super wrinkled. So I was looking for something that won't wrinkle as easily. Black. I feel like the white is nicer. The black still fits because they're exactly the same. I'm going to keep the black anyways. I don't know why I bought this. Holy! This is bad, man. This is serious. Okay? This jacket looks okay like this. It's like flaking off threads. Is this a guy's top? If I was in the Zara store, I would not have picked this shirt. I would not even like pick this shirt to try it on. But I think it just, that's the thing with online shopping. Like everything looks so great on the model and they style it so nicely and you're just like, oh, I'm gonna try that. But I don't love this looking at it. This was the shirt that I said looked like my husband's shirt. <laughs> Very big, oversized. But it's actually quite nice when you tuck it in. It's very relaxed, totally my thing. You can kind of like have it out completely or you can kind of just tuck in the front like so. Not bad. I wasn't crazy about it when I took it out of the box and I'm not crazy about it now. It's just like a blouse, I guess. Black blouse. Nothing too exciting. It's okay. It's getting cooler in Hong Kong, so I'm kind of prepping for like the change of season. Buying these simple knits. They're really good because if I was just going to pick up my kids or going out casually, I think it'd be something that's very convenient to wear. More shirts. I have too much white, that's why I bought a pink. That's the only reason why I bought this shirt, okay? Don't ask. Boyfriend shirts are good because it's oversized and it's baggy, and if you wear it with bike shorts, it's actually quite cool. Actually, I'm not too fussed about the colour. Some people might think it's a bit too pink. I actually think the pink is bearable, but I will not wear it because I'll have to iron it every time and that's going to bother me. So, next. This fits really nicely, actually. And it looks very clean. When you walk around at the top like this, you gotta, you gotta hold your gun. I like it. It makes you look very fresh and it's very simple. Okay, we're gonna keep this. I needed a new black blazer and I think I just impulsively bought this. Looking at it now, I'm not particularly excited about it, but it might look really okay on, so let me just try it on now. I don't know why I bought so much tweed. No, it's not bad. This is surprisingly nice. It looked mediocre when I was just holding it, but when it's on, it's actually quite nice. I like the cut, fits nicely on my shoulders. And obviously you're gonna wear something cool inside, like a cool tee, maybe my Ghani tee, or like a little cropped white tee, I don't know, something, something a nice pair of jeans. I think I'll keep these, I like this. This actually is surprisingly nice, okay? The green could be darker, I guess. It looked darker in the photo, but Okay, so I've bought a whole heap of like tanks. I have this one. This one's actually really comfortable. I have it in black and white. I like how it's crew neck and not too low cut because sometimes with low cut tops, it's a bit <clears throat> hard to manage when you're running around with kids. So new edition, camel. This is a cropped one. Self-explanatory, black. 
Well, the same one in brown. Also got this pair of black leggings. I think they're straight leg. They look really nice on the model, obviously. This top looks really cool. Like it's got like a side open split here. Like it's a cut out top. So I think with a nice pair of pants and jeans, it might look quite chic for an evening kind of night out. So I really have to, I have to kind of try it on to know. So I've tried on this outfit together. I'm not necessarily going to wear it like this. I just wanted to try the two items on ASAP. So this is the top, the one piece top that I was talking about. Uh, it's quite nice. Uh, I think it's very flattering on my petite figure, especially halter neck, because it makes me look a bit wider. Normally with like these type of leggings, um, I wouldn't choose to wear it by itself because it looks it's too hip hugging unless you're super fit and you have a super nice booty which I'm working on right now. Otherwise you can wear like an oversized jumper or like a blazer like this, I guess. So it covers some of your bum. So it looks flattering like this. So this is all Zara. I think I'm going to keep the top and the pants. I like it. But I need it altered because I'm not tall enough so you can see I have that much I need to take off and I need to maybe extend the slit a little bit. So these are Philip Lim's recommended by my stylist because I was looking for like platform brogues. I love brogues because they just go with a lot of different outfit. It's a little boyish look which I love. And it's got a platform so it gives me some height. It goes really well with jeans, uh, maybe some skirts. They're actually really chunky. I have the Pradas, but they're not as chunky, so I need to ask my stylist how I should wear these. These are just basically, they're just new runners from Adidas because I've been looking for a new pair of runners. Just wanted something simple and white. I think these look better in the photos than the actual pair of shoes because from this angle, me looking at this pair of shoes, it looks really wide. But on the side, it looks quite nice. Comfort, six and a half out of 10. For a pair of sneakers, they're not that comfortable. I've been looking for a classic black belt and I came across this on net porte It's a brand called Anderson's. Uh, leather, very simple, black. My stylist tells me I need to buy nicer belts. Not too much detailing, not too much hardware. You might think it's boring, I think it's classic. And it fits! Yay! Whoa! I am so excited about these jeans. I have this exact pair of jeans in a dark grey because my stylist bought it for me just randomly and she just gave it to me and said, look, just wear these, they're really good. And it fit perfectly. And I've been in love with those jeans for quite some time now, so I thought, look, I'm going to get in another pair. And I love light denim. Perfect fit, I love them! did not disappoint because a lot of times, um, especially with my shape, I'm a bit more voluptuous around the hip area, especially after two kids. I find that if it fits my hips, sometimes it's a bit too loose on my waist, but these fit really nicely around my waist. I totally forgot I got these. So these are the dark greys that I have in this style. So I have this style in this color, but this is another style. As you can see, it's a wider leg. It's the balloon style, so it's tapered down the bottom. They look very comfortable, but I'm not sure whether it's flattering on me because I'm petite, and sometimes anything too baggy just makes me look really bulky. So we'll have to try and see. Love forever. Uh, I never used to believe in buying expensive t-shirts because I feel like you know, it's just a t-shirt, but I wear t-shirts so much these days and they wash so much better. So I recently started buying Lululemon t-shirts and they're really good. And uh, so I've got this Garni one, which is quite cool. So this is another tee. It just looks really cool on the model and it's a plain white tee and I just love white tops and tees. So uh, this is Frankie Shop, extra small, but it does look a little bit big on me because I am quite petite, but it's meant to be a super broad, kind of oversized tee with mid-length sleeves. This is extra small already, so I'm gonna try it on. So this is a, just a regular tee. Guess you'll tuck it in, just as I expected, a little bit oversized. 
Okay, these jeans are cool, but I don't know, are they nice? Well, I'll have to ask my stylist about this one. Clown pants. Oh, they're clown. I think I'm too petite. I look like I'm about to go for a rugby game. <laughs> Interesting look. I think it can be quite stylish, this top. I think I'm a bit petite, but I like it. Don't know if I'll wear it though. Is it a bit too big? Because I know the massive shoulders are still in. I've been looking for a nice, staple, classic black blazer for quite some time. I have black blazer, but it's not great quality and I wanted something that's going to be classic and it's going to last. So I saw this one on Matches Fashion. This brand, Ray. They're known for their wool and cashmere. Yes, definitely needs altering. Uh, my arms needs to be, the sleeves needs to be a bit shorter and maybe I might take the shoulders in a little bit because it looks a bit wide on me. It fits nicely around the waist. Also bought some accessories. I think I bought two items from Matches Fashion because there was a sale. Uh, Fort Valentino earrings. So my friend has this pair and I tried it on and I really liked it. But they're the signature Valentino studs. This is apparently a new brand on Matches Fashion, that's what it said. These little gold earrings with Diamante. I think they'll be quite good for some of my events. So these are Paris, Texas. I have another pair, different color in this brand and it's snake skin. I wore them quite religiously two winters ago. Like last winter, I didn't go anywhere. So I didn't buy any new boots or I didn't even dress up. But I thought this winter, we're gonna have a new start, we're gonna have new shoes, and I'm buying a brown pair because I love a lot of brown stuff, as you can see, neutral colors. They're quite comfortable and they have chunky heels. Let me try them on. My legs are too short for the boots! Woo! I didn't know they had different, like, lengths. I knew the heel height, like there's different heights, but these are too big. The other pair that I have, the one I'm wearing in this photo, and they felt a little bit more snug. I'm really disappointed. Uh, I've been looking for dressier tops because I'm going out a bit more now with uh, Jason or sometimes with my friends. And on a night when I want to dress up, I have nothing. I have t-shirts and just blouses. So I thought, let's get something a little bit chic, cooler. It looks rather uncomfortable, this one piece. Looks like it's gonna give me a major wedgie, but I need to try it on to know, so we'll try it on this. This top, like, it looks so nice on the model, but honestly, for me, it's really not practical. Like, it's too low cut. It's not something you'd wanna wear every day, I guess. The one piece cuts really high up, and you have to iron this. So I can't take my hands off because I'll flash everyone, but yeah. No, I don't think I'll keep this. I can change now. 